AI and quantum? No lie, on. No, it's AI and quantum. I'm not lying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's it. Gosh, I even blew the bunny. On the that. best. Okay. Paul continues to have the best headlines. We need to up our game, gentlemen. So, Paul, what is this about? I mean, we know lithium-ion batteries. You know, what, what what are we talking about here? Yeah, everybody's after a better lithium-ion battery. Uh, Microsoft is going at it uh, using AI. They partnered with uh, Pacific Northwest National Labs to uh, develop a, a, a better material. And basically what they did was they screened three, 32 million candidate materials to find a better battery. And uh, there was a bunch of steps involved involving AI and, and uh, uh, the integration of AI and cloud computing and quantum computing. And um, they used uh, Azure quantum elements and it's got all those elements in it. But the process involved basically four steps. They screened these 32 million uh, potential materials with uh, uh, an AI model. They found 500,000 stable candidates that they thought they could use. And then they filtered those with uh, uh, high performance computing and they got 800 candidates. So then they used another program uh, some with molecular dynamics uh, simulations. And they narrowed those 800 down to 150. And then they came up with 18 promising candidates. And uh, when they uh, synthesized everything, they came up with one new material. It is a new material that um, reduced the amount of uh, lithium ion that were needed for, for batteries. It replaced, uh, if, you, if you look at the crystal matrix of it, they replaced a lot of uh, lithium ion atoms with, uh, with uh, sodium. And it still provides all the connectivity and conductivity that they needed. So, so um, it looks like they've got a new material. It looks like that uh, this will have some impact on uh, lithium ion batteries. Finally, we're going to get something. something Gosh, out of Paul, keep keep us uh, keep keep us up to date on this one. This one uh, is a is a really good sounds like a really good application of this, yeah. and it's kind of like the. Uh, the the type of stuff we we always expected that AI and quantum uh, would bring, you know. Yeah. But uh, to go through thirty two million candidates and come up with one that is really going to work, then that's pretty amazing, I think. Yeah, it is. I wonder uh, whose brain they imported into uh, into ChatGPT via Azure to be able to to do that. And then um um I still don't. Uh, mid, I don't fully understand the play between AI and quantum uh, and, and how, how they use that, but I believe there's a white paper out there on Arvix that we put in the uh, in the show notes that if you want to dive into the geekery uh, and see how they did this, uh, more power to you. 